and because of the spikes are on the side, um, they should take damage to it. How you doing on health? <laughs> I'm not doing too bad. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check out uh, this area. Uh, I am fatigued, though, so my stamina is uh, a little lower than normal. All right. Well, let's, hopefully we find uh, an energy drink or something for you. Oh, nice. What we got here? We got a Stay Frosty pack um, for this HB PDW. Um, let's go ahead and equip this for now and also take the ammunition for it and the rucksack as well. So the rucksack ammunition, I'm actually going to run out here, open the trunk, and then we'll go ahead and um, drop this off. Uh, we have pipe bombs in here as well as bandages and firecrackers. Uh, if there's another rucksack in here, I'll take whatever item is in there and then swap them out. Well, not nothing. Uh, shotgun. I'll probably just take the ammo for it and the 762. So we could claim this outpost if we want. This is a gun store, I believe. Um, so it would help out ammunition wise. And I think we do have an opening for, drop something else first. um, outposts. So I could, I could claim this for now. We'll see what other outposts are out there first. Uh, we've got nine millimeter ammo in here. Okay. Ooh, a crossbow. Interesting. Nice. Found a, a jacket. Ooh. The vectors are really nice because of its uh, fast fire rate. Not this one, though. I think there's another vector that... Another version of the vector that's a faster fire rate. You could definitely use that against uh, play cards. Okay, I think we are good around here. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and claim this outpost just for now. Oh, we need a little bit more influence uh, points. I did use a lot to summon that car, so. All right, we do have a couple of missions that we need to go check out. Um, I believe uh, there's a bounty broker that's up there and then there was the wanderers that needed help. Trying to remember where they're at. Embers, Gepers. Interesting. There they are. They were in the same spot. They were just grayed. All right. So I put it on the map uh, to head towards. All right. Let's head to that car. Said a little, f little fatigued. Why don't you take a nap in the car? No worry. Almost out of here. So there is one map where you could actually have a base on a bridge. Uh, that one was very interesting and scary at the same time. <laughs> that it's night, because that night it was very dark. <laughs> actually, matter of fact. I don't... Was it this map? I can't remember. I'm gonna go check out that uh, crate that was actually right there, though. Got kind of a broken down trunk... Or truck here. Oh, we got some... You said you were looking for 7.62 ammo? Yes. Uh, I got 29 rounds in here, along with some grenades. Uh, you can take the grenades if you like. Oh, yeah. I'll grab those. 
gonna throw on the AK. So we have more 762 ammo. All I've got is what's left in this mag. And then you can search that because that's your color coded. So I was just looking at what the checkpoint has. So it has artillery strikes, both scouting range, as well as um, place to sleep. Where'd you find? I uh, found a muzzle break. Nice. Uh, so if you have uh, any weapons, you can check that out uh, in your equipment. And um, it will show you if you could put a mod on it. It'll be in orange. Uh, so, for example, my AK, uh, Preppers AK, um, I put a handmade suppressor on it. Now, probably not the best suppressor. So, um, there are better models for it. Um, all suppressors will do the same noise. So it won't have like massive sound. But it's the type of suppressor you put on it that will have your gun last longer. So like durability wise. So always want to keep that in mind. I don't know why I'm trying to shoot this uh, soldier zombie in the head with the shield that it has. There we go. Old, old habits. <laughs> Very, yeah, definitely. So what I like about the the weaker Zeds is you know one tap to the head. It, you know, it feels really good. Once again, we are playing on standard. Uh, there are many different difficulties to to check out. Uh, lethal being the highest. Um, ooh, you might want to go check this out. So we got uh, M4. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this 762. Uh, but there is a crossbow with some bolts. And there's also 556. Five, I'm going to grab this rucksack, though. Put it in our car. Um, let's see. Let's grab that. Put this in there. And what uh, ammo are you using? Uh, I'm using five five six. Okay, so I have all I can carry. Oh, I forgot. I am full. Five five six and uh, nine millimeters for my handgun. So I'm gonna drop this on the ground. No more of that. And let me know if you can grab this. Uh, the fresh axe. Oh no! Nope. Nope. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. All right. Let's be on our way. <laughs> Not like <a> squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> too many, too many spikes. <laughs> Was that a? Oh. So oh. another thing I learned is that you can take out a juggernaut by uh, backing into them. Of course, if you're going fast enough. Because it still does damage, and it doesn't really do much damage to your car. <laughs> so you see that little damage <laughs> to it. <laughs> Almost drove into the river. <laughs> All right, let's 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 try driving a little bit further. That way we can actually gain momentum. <laughs> Ooh, I, think, I think you hit him twice. Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> oh no. You can swing your door open, right? Yeah. But I was gonna do the uh a J turn that way we could just uh kill it instantly, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Excuse me. We got we got places to be. And that was actually an infestation right there. So let's actually go ahead and take out a couple of them real quick. So yeah, X is to open up the uh, door. There's a screamer right there. Go ahead and take that out. Okay. 
I know there are probably some people wondering uh, why we are using our weapons instead of meleeing. Um, you know, uh, it depends on what zombies you know we're going up against, or if we just want to clear them out real quick. So we got a feral right here. So ferals will cling on really quick, but you know, we also have a car that we can use. Okay, so we do have our mission that's just over there. Let's try to drive in a spot where we won't take much damage. <laughs> you can see that uh, our car has definitely seen better days. All right, let's see what the uh, if the wanderers are here to to be nice or to take us out. Uh, knock knock. I got a spot filled with fucking deadheads that need to get snuffed. Yeah, we'll help you out. All right. So they want us to kill uh, some wanderers, so we'll go ahead and head on over to that area. Or wanderer, wanderers. They want us to go and take out some zombies that are infecting uh, the area over there. So I went out and found a few things. You're welcome. Hey, thanks, Sierra. Another good tip is um, if you don't have a car like this, uh, always best to park your engine towards a wall. That way your car takes the least amount of damage. You got some friends. Oh, I'm getting really low. We gotta we gotta rest soon. Yep. Oh. Uh here, uh is this gonna help you? Oh after we take out Aw oh, Screamer. Inside. Yeah, no screaming for you. Okay, there is not secure yet. Here, I'll get to see you now. There you go. Thank you. Let me know if that helped out a little bit. Uh, it gives me a little bit more uh, stamina regeneration, but uh, yeah, it's still it's my, my max. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we're getting a handle on the infestation problem in this town. The zone isn't dead free just yet. Try to get behind it. That way, we could do a takedown. Once again, if you're just tuning into the next studio, we are currently checking out State of Decay 2. Pick up and play and survive in many different uh, types of playthroughs that you can have. I believe this is actually um, my fourth campaign, I want to say. Um, done one for the, the Warlord. Um, I can't remember what the uh, Doctor one was, but yeah, we've definitely done. This is our fourth town that we've gone through. Uh, but yeah, many different uh, playthroughs that you could have in the main campaign. There's also the homeland campaign, uh, the horde mode as well. Uh, and not on top of that, you could also check this out, uh, um, you know, via multiplayer, um, inviting your friends to play or uh, getting help from other players online. Uh, and checking out all the awesome updates that have uh, came out uh, since the beginning. The game's... Uh, uh, on its f uh, fourth year anniversary, um, and you can check out all the different fun activities and events that have gone out, uh, gone through. Uh, I believe uh, one of the most recent events was the um, Merry and Bright event, and that one was actually really interesting because you could actually see a, a couple of the outposts uh, throughout uh, your map. There was actually lit up with Christmas lights. There was also like um, Christmas gear that you could have on. Um, you see like the 4th of July gear that we can have, um, when it comes to weapons. Um, but since we have this cleared, we can go ahead and talk back to the other wanderers and then we'll get Sarah Fox back to, um, to home base.
Don't you sleep on me. Hey Gabe, how's it going? Nice to see you again. So after you have uh, helped out um, other um, communities, you can actually go and talk to them and you could have them be a follower and you can see uh, how much that's gonna cost or you can even try to trade. Uh, and sometimes they might have uh, other items that might interest you. Most of the time they're gonna have uh, at least a rucksack that you can actually use, so. Uh, it's going to be pretty pricey, but as you can see over here, uh, there is facility mods, uh, that we can have, uh, that will boost, uh, the morale, um, of our community. Nothing really that I need here. Um, so we'll probably just, uh, go ahead and be on our way. Um, and even if we wanted to, like, if there's something that we really wanted from them, we can threaten them, but... They're pretty nice people. So we'll go ahead and let them be. How's uh how's your sleeping doing? <laughs> We're at about uh about a fifth of our max stamina bar. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll get out and push. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, here I I, I got this down on the D-pad. We're stuck. <laughs> nope. Yo yo. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I'm driving back to you. You might want to get in. It's getting kind of dark. As I almost get stuck again. <laughs> I was gonna say right back to where you were all right um on the map do you mind putting uh the main base yeah. wow that is a really strong fence set that waypoint to the citadel nice and you can see that i have my teammates marker up and i is in blue Beep beep. <laughs> I want to get I want to get one with the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two points. You no, know, I thought maybe we can get a shortcut around here. Definitely not. Uh oh. We gotta get back to base. Oh. Zombie threat at home. It's time to go home. A lonely roamer right there. <laughs> I love it. It's such a simple feature and it's so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> the two fur right there. Alright, so we're about uh, 450 meters away. Oh, there's a gas station right here. I might try to get that as an outpost if, the, if it is available. It looks like it is. There's also an infestation there that we probably should clear out. All right, we're home. Okay, so now that we're at our base, we can go right here, press RT to transfer straight to your base. Same thing, we can actually put the, the items in here and transfer to our base. So if to make it just a little bit quicker for you. Probably should have kept some of the meds though, but as we're getting ready for this siege. 
All right, let's see if there's uh, anything that I could use from here. There's more 556 five, that's in here. Uh, if you need, I could take it out for you. And I'll drop it right here for you. Oops, sorry. There we go. Just dropped it on the ground. Thank you. Oh, and they're here. Hello? <laughs> Ow! Uh, another tip too is uh, if you're running low on ammunition for a weapon, try swapping it out with one of your uh, AIs. Because even though that there is no uh, ammo in the weapon, they can actually still use it. So I'm defending this side of the base. I think Sarah Fox has um, the back of the base. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some takedowns, kind of save the ammunition. But, um, looks like we defended our base quite well. Oh, okay. Thanks, sniper unit. Actually, are you using a shotgun from up there? That's interesting. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and uh, reload this ammunition real quick. That was the last one. Now I can't remember. Uh, it's been a while since I played... Uh, Multiplayer, are you able to use other characters that are in my base? Uh, I don't believe that I can. Um, ways that we would do it uh, in our playthrough is we would press uh, the view button. I'm playing on uh, gamepad, of course. And I could check out my community. We can see that Stevie's tired. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to uh, Sierra. Uh, and you can see all the stats that Sierra has. I want to get uh, Sierra to uh, hero status. Um... So we're going to start doing more missions with Sierra. We see the traits are uh, a model hobbyist will drink anything and overcame anger issues. So um, we'll go ahead and control. You can also exile if you want to, but um, I, I, I like I like the community that I have. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not play as Meadows, or was I playing as Meadows? No, I was playing as Stevie. So yeah, 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 you, you're fine. Meadows is actually uh, a character that I've brought from many different um, playthroughs. I think I've had Meadows actually since the beginning. That's why his stats are all the way up. But uh, yeah, have, have fun. Don't get him killed. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do we need for, uh, It's I believe it's 556, five, right? Yeah, five five six was the uh, the ammo I was running with. Oh. Let's see. I'm trying to think, five five six is probably going to be best for for my character. So yeah, you're playing as Meadows, correct? Uh, this is Breton. Breton. Oh, oh, maybe from your playthrough. It looks yeah, it looks a lot it looks a lot like Meadows. I was just all like, oh no, don't. Meadows no. Uh, it'll uh, it, it'll pull from my community, so I have uh, I have I have my my survivors to uh, to play as. Nice. So um, here's that Spec Ops uh, SMG that I was talking about. That has a really fast fire rate. It will shred um, Plague Hearts really really fast. Um, so I would definitely say if you. Uh, come across this weapon um, definitely enjoy it and use it um, for those play cards uh, there are a lot of weapons that I have on this character that I do not need I think I have like two anti-material come on Sierra let's go ahead and drop off a couple items let's uh equip, equip that sidearm um, only need one of these material rifles. Let's go ahead and store, store. That didn't sound good at all. Got the improvised uh, suppressor on here. But I don't have any 762 on me, so let's go ahead and detach the mod. 
And there is a horde moving towards Canyon Side House, so we might want to go check that out. Screamer here. All right. I think we're good. All right. Um, All right. Actually, one last thing I want to grab before I leave. There we go. Oh, that does have the professional suppressor on it. Uh, let's go put this in here then. Okay. Alright, time to go. Cardio just... So, we do have a couple more missions that are out here. Once again, we're trying to get Sierra up on hero status. Let's make sure we close this door. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and back to the car. So we got tons of infestations that are around us, but I'm going to go straight uh, to this infestation that's over here. Because by the looks of it, it is pretty high up there. Now, wood fences won't do damage to our car, but this cinder block that's definitely blocking the pathway will... that zombie take that car hit like a champ yeah <laughs> all right let's go ahead and head on into here i'm gonna put our car facing like that and let's try to clear out this area so yeah this, we have what four screamers i believe it was nearby and they're all in this building right here the three screamers and a bunch of walkers Oh, I don't want to use that. Ooh, I had to stop it from screaming. Definitely another screamer in there. And a walker. Woo! Oh, jumped out the way. Ow. So my my takedown got interrupted. Ow. Okay. Let's make this mag count, kiddos. Oh, one behind you. Nice. All right. Looks like uh, infestation is cleared. Uh, let's go ahead and start searching a couple of things. Step two. Find you. Okay, we got a rucksack. That's uh nice. We'll go ahead and take that. Got a lot of crafting materials. Yeah. Uh, Finding that as well. You can go ahead and keep those on your character as well. Uh oh, a gas can. Okay, I think uh, I think we're good here. What we got in here? Oh sounds oh. like there's somebody in here. Breach, breach, breach. Oh. <laughs> no takedown. Too late. Uh, we got another rucksack in here, so I will uh, remember that. We'll come back for that one. Um, and we'll drop it off into our car. This is Cleo. Hey, Cleo. Population density in area designated Trumbull Valley is beneath the baseline target. Citizens are instructed to relocate to area designated Trumbull Valley at their earliest convenience. Uh, sorry, folks. Just a little radio malfunction there. Please, go about your business. I don't like the sounds of that. <laughs> yeah, that, that has me worried. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, drop this off in there. As well as the gas cans. 
And then I'm gonna go back and get the other rucksack real quick. I actually might, uh, I might poke my head in here and see what's going on in this little, little store. Yeah, I did hear some noise coming from it. Let me know if you find some food. <laughs> 